Hey guys, this is Substitute Topher here filling in for the Topher today. And we are driving the 2022 Lexus RX 350 all-wheel drive F-Sport. Now, if you are subscribed to the Topher channel, you know that this is a car that we are pretty familiar with. We drive Lexus RXs pretty frequently. But this is the latest one, the 2022. Not much has changed, but I still wanted to take you guys out on a test drive to show you what this thing is like. This one is a little bit of a different spec than what we've had before. It's the 350, so we have the uh, 295 horsepower V6, eight-speed automatic, we've got all-wheel drive, and this one has the F Sport package. So a couple cool exterior bits and pieces. We've got these different wheels. We've got different sort of chrome colors here for our grill. This one's in nebula gray, looks pretty nice. We've got our F Sport badges here on the fenders, and you'll notice that the F Sport badge has a white background and starting i think it was uh this model your 2021 or 2022 lexus introduced these sort of different pillars of the f sport line so you've got the f sport that we know the the the, the f sport design that's your normal f sport then you've got this one this is the f sport handling so this car actually has active suspension it's kind of strange for a for a um an rx but we have that here on this car and then the Lexus IS500, that is an F-Sport Performance. So we've got three different tiers of F-Sport. The IS500 Performance, that kind of explains itself. It's got the big V8, you know, it's almost all the way to an F-Car, but not quite. So Lexus is kind of like complicating this whole F-Sport thing, but if you see the white badge, just know that that is F-Sport handling. And with every F-Sport pack, you get all of the F-Sport design language as well. So this one looks like any other F-Sport would. This think has you wave your foot under it and it opens but you might have to have the key in your pocket and I don't so just do it this way <laughs> pretty good amount of room back here as you can see we've got F Sport RX right here on our little trunk mat as well first aid kit velcroed over here we've got this uh, privacy shade for if you want your luggage to be private that snaps all the way back. We've got this nice sort of luggage net as well. So lots of room back here. Let's see how long this takes to close. Would your dogs be able to escape? Yes. Well, that's actually not too bad. We were driving a Mitsubishi Outlander this week as well, and it shut way slower than that one. Let's take a look in the back seat here. Oh, yeah. Tons of room in this Lexus RX. This is always how this car has been so comfortable. Lexus always does such a good job with just the softness of their leather and just how plush everything is in here. And it just makes everything feel so homey and comfortable and just a very nice place to be overall. This one has a very, very bright red interior, which is pretty sweet. I think it really adds to the sort of F-Sport flavor of the car. The gray exterior, the red interior, it is a really, really nice spec. That's fancy, look at that. All goes together really nicely. Red accents here on the door panels. Got some nice black stitching here. I don't know what that trim is. It's a little bit textured. Two USB ports to charge your devices. And this one does not have a third row. This is not the 450, or excuse me, this is not the RX 350L, which adds, I think like three inches to the body. I think the wheelbase stays the same, but the, the, the body's a little bit longer. So uh, we do not have a third row seat in this car, but that's okay. You know, I think that this is a nice sort of five passenger SUV design and it doesn't really need a third row to be uh, the great Lexus RX that it already is. A couple interesting sort of accessories on this car. For one, we've got these like door edge guards. And I don't know if these come on every RX or not, but those are a little bit interesting, at least their body color. But the most irritating thing on this car, the most irritating option that's been ticked, are these very silly sort of side steps. And this car is not high off the ground, so they're really just in the way when you're trying to get in. You have to like step over them. And then when you're getting out, they like hit your calf and they like scrape the back of your leg because you're not thinking about having a sidestep getting in and out of a Lexus RX. And even when you do use them, they feel, they feel kind of silly. I don't know. It's just 
kind of in the way and it costs money so like why would you get them they're a little bit silly so i would say probably don't tick that box if you're ordering a lexus rx as for everything up here it's pretty familiar uh, we got this new infotainment last year in 2021 it's just a nice big screen which is also touch now that's very nice if you don't want to use your mouse pad you can now just use the touch screen but the mouse pad is right here for you Standard Lexus stuff, you know, you either love it or you hate it. I'm kind of in between. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm not really huge on it, I guess, if I'm being honest. Get some haptic feedback there with the mouse. The infotainment actually reacts pretty quickly. Just back into the Lexus infotainment. Everything's down here at the bottom, and it makes that nice little ding noise. Let's go back into Apple CarPlay because that's where I feel the most comfortable. But below this big new touchscreen, we still have our little analog clock, which I think is so cool. I hope Lexus never gets rid of that. The clock is just such a staple. And directly below the clock, if you go past the hazard switch here, we have a CD player as well. Again, just something that's so like typically Lexus and it really just shows you their market and um, I like it. You know, you can't, you can't fault them for for trying to appeal to their certain buyers that they're trying to appeal to. Clock, CD player. Uh, we do have a volume knob, which is awesome. Um, it works well, it feels very smooth. We've got our own little climate control panel down here. We don't have knobs for that, but we do have physical buttons, so that's always good. I've got this little phone holder for my phone here. It, it keeps everything nice. I've got my phone plugged in here for CarPlay, and there's like little rubber pieces in here that hold the phone, and it keeps it from jiggling about. So. That's pretty sweet. Pretty good room in the console. Glove box that opens nice and smoothly when you don't force it like I just did. The headliner is a nice material. It's not quite Alcantara, but it's like a very sort of soft material. And being that this is an F-Sport car, we do of course have a black headliner, which is sweet. I think the black headliner looks awesome with these red seats and overall just a really nice place to be in here. All right, guys, well, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take this RX350 F-Sport handling all-wheel drive. I think I got that all. <laughs> Let's take this thing out on the road and see what it's like to drive. Funny enough, you actually get a unique shift knob with the F-Sport package, no matter what sort of F-Sport trim you go for. Get that nice perforated leather on there, you know. It is the F-Sport way. You also get it on your steering wheel here, right at the bottom. You get your little white F-Sport uh, logo there. So as I mentioned earlier, this RX350 has 295 horsepower from that V6. That's made it here to our eight-speed automatic transmission, which you can control manually. It's all right, you know, this is a 4,300 pound SUV, so the 295 horsepower is really not quick or fast, but it feels sort of adequate for this car because it's a Lexus. You know, you're not, you're not trying to get anywhere super quickly, especially in an RX. You know, this car, this car is such a staple in the Lexus family. I saw an old RX earlier. In fact, I'll insert a clip of it right now. And it was one of those late 90s, early 2000s, first generation RXs. It was gold, you know, with those sort of clear and red Alteza style taillights. And that just really reminded me of how much of a legacy this thing has. I mean, this car has been around for like 25 years or something. It's been around for a long time and it's been going steady. I'm not sure on the exact amount of generations that the car has had. I want to say it's like four or five but I think we're gonna be due for another generation here next year. So I think this will be the last rendition of this generation of RX. And man, has it come a long way from the old gold SUV with the chrome tinted windows. <laughs> you always know when you see an old RX going down the road because it's got those bright reflective chrome window tints, which I don't really know the purpose to or if they've just sort of deteriorated to be like that over time. I don't know what the explanation is for that, but you always know them when you see them. The overall sort of powertrain performance and throttle response is not really as smooth as I was expecting. Uh, it's not, you know, terrible, but when I think of Lexus, I think of very smooth and refined. And sometimes this can be a little bit jerky, you know, you can have some excessive throttle response when you're taking off off the line. 
but when you're just going down the road, it's totally fine. It shifts very smoothly and everything. The V6 makes a pretty cool noise, but again, it's a little bit loud here. We'll give it a little... It kind of makes a cool noise, if, if I'm being honest. Let's go ahead and try out sport mode. I wonder if that changes... A little bit quicker throttle response there. Also got Sport S Plus, which is the sportiest mode you can have in this car. It does rev match our downshifts here, so that's nice. Coming up quick on the van again. <laughs> That's not a very common sight here in Michigan. But anyways, as you saw, pretty flat handling there around that entrance ramp, as it should because it's the F-Sport handling. If I'm being honest, I don't have a ton of time in other Lexus RXs, so I can't really tell you if it's worth getting the handling uh, pack on this car. I mean, really just adequate performance there. It's not quick, but no problem at all with passing power and with transmission kickdown as well. Not bad at all. What I can tell you is that even with this F-Sports handling package with the active suspension and whatnot, the ride is still fantastic. This thing just floats down the highway over bumps, no interior rattles, no exterior rattles, no anything. It's just so smooth. It's very tailored to the driver's comfort. And I love that about Lexus. And you know, why not throw on the F-Sport appearance package or F-Sport handling package? I love the red leather. It just adds Watch more. Roadworks reported on the road ahead. Thank you, Jeeves. Appreciate that. It just adds more flavor to this otherwise sort of what would be a boring SUV. So we'll give that to Lexus. And um, the Topher will be happy I'm mentioning this. It has his favorite sort of cruise control. I own a Lexus. I have a 2003 Lexus IS300, and it has probably the same exact cruise control stock that this thing has. They've been going at this design for quite a while, and it just works. You don't have to worry about setting the cruise control on your steering wheel or anything like that. You just reach your hand down, press in to set it, press down. And this car has radar cruise as well, so it'll keep the distance there. Uh, from the car in front of you. You can choose how you want to do that, except I'm not doing it right because I, what am I, what am I controlling right now? All right. Well, anyways, uh, something I've found with Lexuses is sometimes they follow a little bit further back than you would really like them to follow. It's still usable. It's still a system that, that you can use and not feel bad about. Um, you just have the occasional moment where you're like, am I holding up traffic right now? Cause I'm so far back from this car, but you get over it eventually. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit of traction or stability control going in there. It was a little bit jerky off the line. <laughs> I like how even in their SUVs, Lexus still has the like shift light that comes on. The whole cluster turns red when it's time to shift. I think that's pretty cool. I just realized as well, we've been driving this in Sport S Plus since we got on the highway. Very, very quickly reacting paddles. I'm very surprised actually at how fast these react. Wanted to test out the handling part of the letter here. A little bit of understeer through there, but nothing too serious. And we've caught up with traffic. So let's go ahead and push down, put this thing back into normal mode, back into drive, and drive it like everyone else is gonna drive their Lexus RX. All right, guys, so before we wrap up today, I wanna test out the Mark Levinson sound system in this RX. This car has the navigation package, which means we get that Mark Levinson premium audio. So let's go ahead and try that out. We're gonna do a quick little highway drive here and just vibe to some NCS. 
I don't have the Topher's sound system test playlist. In fact, I should probably get that from him. But um, let's just see how this Mark Levinson system sounds. All right, well, that song was like equally as hardcore, but you get the idea. That was just sort of an abbreviated sound test because uh, we are going to wrap up our review here. But that sound system sounds great. I think Charlie from Daily Motor would probably give that an A tier, which would be high praise from him. I don't actually know what he gave the sound system, but if I had to guess, I would say that it's up there. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good sound system. We usually hear very good things from Lexus and their Mark Levinson systems, especially in the Lexus LS and LX. But this RX is no exception, it sounds great. But otherwise, this Lexus RX is really just what you'd expect. It's a very nice, comfortable, luxurious, soft family SUV crossover. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap up our review here of the Lexus RX. There's another Lexus RX, look at that, people love them. <laughs> I do have a 360 camera here that tells me I'm parked over the line. <laughs> All right, well, that is going to wrap up our video here on this Lexus RX 350. Nice power steering wheel. I love that about Lexus is the steering wheel just moves out of your way so you can have an easy time getting in and out of the car, you know? One last little walk around here. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this RX 350 F Sport handling. This has been Substitute Topher filling in for the Topher today. You'll be back to your normal Topher content very soon. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you very soon in the next video.